welcome to episode 24 of Bitches of Horror. Yes, and in this episode uh, we have a female director special. And one writer. Yes. Uh, we were planning on trying to have this in February, but things came up and it was Glasgow and there was Yeah, there was so London. much stuff going on. So we kind of missed it, but we thought we'd make up for it now. So uh, we're going to talk about three feature films and one short film. Mm-hmm. So well, let's get started. Yeah, let's start with uh, Amer, or Amer, for Amer. however you pronounce <laughs> that, a French movie, yeah. a French kind of giallo movie. Uh, it's by Helene Catet and Bruno uh, Farzani, uh, who also did The Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. This one is a bit different from that one, though. Yeah, they, they are very different. Even if they have like the same elements, they're, they're like shot in the same way, they're both really beautiful. Very beautiful. And, um, you know, you don't see a lot of modern giallo these days. And they... They did yeah, it in a, they like, a good way. They do. Yeah. The cinematography was really amazing. And I did like the colors, the lighting, and the acting. I really liked. But there was some confusion, like, with... Uh, with everything. Yeah, with the strange colors of your body's tears also. But this was less confusing. Than that movie. I don't know. Like I thought this one was confusing. I mean, I got it more than uh, <laughs> I guess, but it was still like a lot of things that were left unsaid. I'm not unsaid, but like it, I just didn't really understand but some of the. At least you were like, okay, did. we're in that era now. Now we're in uh, this one, and now we're in this one. So at least I like that. Yeah. I wasn't totally confused. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Like, Amir is a, a, a little bit... It's, I guess it's easier to follow, and it's a lot... A, a lot of people have a hard time with Strange Call of Your Body's Tears. Yeah, I have. Um, <laughs> I love it. Like, I don't really understand it, but I love it. It's like a bad... It's like a trip. Like, when I was like in the cinema watching trip. that movie, I felt like I was high. <laughs> but I wasn't. That's, that was just such a weird <laughs> sensation watching yeah. that movie, because you're just like, what is going on? And you're just like, mm-hmm. it's like a mind... Yeah. Ah, you're just like, shot into another dimension. So this, so Amel was at least more understandable for me. Yeah. It's about a girl who grows up, Yeah, she basically. goes, you, you see her th- going through like three phases in her life. And, like, someone is after her. Yeah. They wanted to kill her. They do like breathing. There's yeah. a lot of breathing yeah. in their movies. That... Like, <laughs> close-ups of, like, the mouth and faces <laughs> and... And, of course, razor blades. Yes. Oh, yeah, the end. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there's this one scene yeah. in it. If you have seen this, you will know which scene. Yeah, that, that like, really got me. Like, I, was... I, wasn't, I wasn't prepared for it. Yeah, I was like... Uh, oh my god, are they going to go there? I was like, no, it's it's too sensitive, and then they did it, or something. Yeah, like, no, it's what? just like, no. I was just like, oh damn, they did not just do that. But it was a great scene. Yeah, it was it was great. That they did, uh, yeah, that scene was really good, and the effects and that was also, they were also really good. Yeah. Their movies are very special, but they are very beautiful and artsy and very French- but even though they're not French, they're actually from Belgium, I think. Which is sort of... I mean, their movies are in French, but... Yeah, they're not from France. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like... The movies always make me confused. Like, not only about what the movie was about, but also, like, my own feelings towards <laughs> the movie. Like, that's not you really... Sh- know. Yeah, you just like, what... Uh... But I, I think I did enjoy Strange Call Everybody's Tears a little bit more than I did with Amir. I thought Amir was a little bit slow uh, yeah, at I some like points. Amir better. Much better. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, watching their movies just makes me, like, I don't know, freak out. It's like a, an experience in itself. Yeah, it is an experience. So if you want to experience something different, then definitely watch yes. Amer and Strange Colors of Your Body's Tears, which we might review at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think I, give the, I think I gave this one about a 7 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah. It's uh, special. Very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's move on to Slumber Party, Party Massacre. Massacre. Slasher. Yes. Yes. I love slasher films. I hadn't seen this before. It's my first time. I saw this like many, many years ago, so I really wanted to rewatch it. 
Yes, and it's by Amy Holden Jones. And from what I've read about it, it was supposed to be a sort of homage to slashers and also a bit of a parody, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. A parody? Not like a parody, but like, it wasn't meant to be super serious. No, it was supposed to be a fun movie. Yeah, it was supposed to be a fun, like, camping movie. Yeah. Um, And uh, they did pull that off very well. It was very cliche, like it was meant to be, like, to, you know. Uh, But also it had its... It had its... Good yeah, moments. really weird and good moments. Uh, the weapon of choice is a drill because this movie is a, is about a fear of like losing your virginity. Is that why it is? Yeah, for real. Uh, I heard her in an interview like saying that. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that actually. And you know the drill is like um, you know, there's a penis. <laughs> Yeah. So are you gonna say penis or are you gonna say something else? <laughs> no, I I'll stick with that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I like that weapon of choice, because these girls, uh, it's about a, uh, a bunch of girls having a slumber party, and I don't know how many of them, like, Fine. didn't have, oh. uh, had sex or something, but I think there was some girls, yeah. like, fearing, yeah, yeah had girl sex talk. for a time, and some boys watching them, you know, and see them a bit naked and stuff. I just want to know, how many of you guys out there actually, like, went to a girl's house... <laughs> Oh, they had a party and, like, peeked in and, like, tried to get a sneak peek of their boobs. Like, does that actually happen? Like, I don't... I mean, in Sweden, we uh, most of us live in apartments, or in Stockholm, at least. Mm. Um, so it's a bit hard to actually do that. But, you know, in the States, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of houses. So I guess it's easier. But, like, how do you know when these parties are? And how yeah, do you I'd go like there s- without getting <laughs> caught? Yeah. Yeah. And like is this is it really that interesting? Like Well if you're twelve or 13, But they're in high school. Or... I mean you must have seen on T V or something. <laughs> Maybe it's just in Sweden, you know, we get we see tits all the time. It's out yeah, everywhere. So we're used to it. Like, eh. <laughs> 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 it's nothing special. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's not really what the movie is about, but there's that one scene. Um and the killer is actually quite like He's he's really weird. He's really disturbing. Yeah, you you really don't even know much about him. No, you you just. But I I, I like that. It yeah. fits the movie. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't always think it has to be someone like special and has yeah, to give them a big background story. It just has to yeah. be some weird guy. Yeah, if he's weird enough, it works. <laughs> so, yeah, the drilling scenes uh, were good. Yeah, I bet you like them. Yeah. <laughs> I like me some drilling from time to time. <laughs> yes, indeed. The last time we had a good drilling was uh, the Norwegian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when was I doing that? Like, oh, you meant, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Meant, yeah. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah. Like like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That was also a good uh, drilling movie. Totally different, but also good mm-hmm. drilling. Yeah, um, I think the drill in this one was quite big. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. Big, huge. You know, what we're afraid of when we're teenagers, you know, the... <laughs> huge drills. Yeah. Um, but he was, yeah, it was, um, they had a really fun, it was a fun movie. Yeah, it was. Like, don't take this seriously. It's like, a, it actually is like a slumber party movie. Like, this is a movie you want to see... I was like, oh, I don't want to be Slumbered in that summer out. party. It's, it's so cozy without the... Yeah, without the drilling. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the effects are pretty good. Yeah. Um, they're not Tom Savini, but they're good enough yeah. to, to stand like, out nice. from regular stuff. You know, you can't really compare anything to Tom Savini. Yeah. Uh, but Like, one negative critique was that they had some unnecessary jump scares sometimes. Like, mm. building up and just... You don't need to have jump scares in this kind of movie. Yeah. It, it, it is fun. But uh, mm. it's on some... It doesn't hold up as well today as it did back then, is what I imagine. I didn't see it back then. But a lot of 80s movies are like that. Like, a lot of them are fun, but they're not as good. You know, good. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. You know, you probably know what I mean. It was the same thing with It's Alive. Like it was a fun movie, but it wasn't that good. Yeah. Now, Slumber Party Massacre is a lot better than that. Yeah, yeah, but it's... it it's it still has its flaws. Like 
like it hasn't aged that well. Well, I think it works today for for me at least. Yeah. Like I I have a fun time when I Yeah, it, it was it was fun. Yeah. I would love to see uh the second part and third part again. It's been so long ago. I haven't even seen them, so well, I'm should. so bad, I know. If you want some more drilling. I do. And I always... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move on. Yeah. Or soon. Um, as well, this is made by a woman, so that's also very interesting because there's not a lot of slashers, as far no as way. I know, made by women, mm-hmm. especially back then, in the 80s. So that's and, really cool. Yeah. So she really, like, stepped out, and that that's cool. Yeah, thank you, Respect. Amy. Um... Yeah, I think overall it's about the same for Ahmed as me, or as this one for me. It's about 7 out of 10. Me too. 7 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to Excess Flesh, which we got as, yeah, we got to see. And this is actually directed by a male. His name is Patrick Kennelly, but it's written by a woman named Sigrid Gilmour. Uh, Gilmour, sorry, not Gilmour. Gilmour. Uh, sh- and, um, yeah. This was it's really very, interesting. It's very odd. Yeah, this was special. Basically, um, it's about eating disorders and just insecurities about yeah. one's body. Yeah, wanting to be like someone else. Yes. And, yeah. Mental, like, mental disorders, basically. But it's not really what you'd expect. Like, no, it wasn't at all. Basically, it's about these two girls. Who live together. Yes. Roommates. And one of them is, like, this really hot model-ish type of girl. And the other girl, uh, I think it's Bethany Orr? Yeah. I think that's her name, yeah. Orr. Yeah, she's... I mean, she's not nothing wrong with her, but she's, mm-hmm. you know, she has a little bit of an extra skin. I don't know. She she would consider herself chubby, but... but she, yeah, it's just she normal. Isn't. <laughs> yeah. Normal, normal type mm-hmm. of girl, you know. And uh, she, you know, she's jealous of the, her roommate... How she's so skinny and how she gets all the modeling jobs. Yeah, because her all. room is... She's eating all the time. Yeah. She doesn't gain, a, like, a pound or gram or anything. Very good metabolism. Yeah. Uh, which we all, women, well, we all want that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, being a girl, I'm not sh- I'm pretty sure that... I mean, there's are probably men who have these issues as well, but being a woman and watching this movie, you... You kind of get you know you know you see yourself yeah you in get it why lot. she's so insecure yeah. and how like why she does some crazy things yeah I mean she goes a little bit too far I wouldn't she go that far go. but uh, you really like understand like how how she feels because we've all I mean most of us have been there and where we look at another girl and we're like damn I wish I was like that you know I wish I looked like her I wish I was like that and I. You, yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. Yeah. And you kind of see her, like, melt down until where she just can't take it anymore. You can see her, like, eating, like, the macaroni. She has, like, these microwavable macaroni and cheese. And she just, like, chews it and then spits it out. And I'm like, all oh, that wasted macaroni yeah. and cheese oh. is so good. We don't have a lot of it in Sweden. I get I'm, so I've been hungry. craving it. I was watching it as well. I was pregnant. And I was just like, I want macaroni and cheese now. Now. Like, I can take your bowl. Give it to <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't care if she's spitting it out. I'll eat it. <laughs> uh, no, but it, it was... Um, it was a very, uh, same time, hard movie to watch, uh, where she just freaks the fuck out and just takes control over her roommate. Yeah. And or starts, like, pointing weird. out her bad parts, even, you know, and Leia like, starts drawing on her, and, you know, you got a little bit too extra, you know, too much there, and uh, it's really hard to explain this movie, but yeah. it's, like, really disturbing and really disgusting. I don't want to say too much because it'll spoil. Like, ha, if spoil. you have a problem with f- food in movies, yeah. like, pre- represented in, in this, odd ways, then... This is, like, this food porn, you. but yeah. the opposite. This is, like, and, food torture. And, like, every time someone eats something, uh, it's, like, slow motion and really slow, so you, you have to take it all in, you know? Yeah, and it reminds me a little bit about the and uh, a lot of you probably seen Ren and Stimpy the cartoon where they like zoom in on like the disgusting parts and you're just like ugh and that's like kind but, of what they do. Yeah, it makes it yeah. beautiful somehow. Yeah, it's like a beautiful disgusting movie. Yeah, you're like uh, but you can't look away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Oh. You're like, I know that's disgusting, but it looks good. <laughs> it's a very beautiful movie, and it has a lot of sort of trippy scenes in it, um, where like you can kind of see into their their dream world, and uh, there's yeah, just really weird dreams going on in this yeah. movie. Um. Yeah, it's it's kind of also like you know about our society and how we perceive women and how we objectify women in general. <sighs> and yeah, it's just a really messed up movie. Yeah, you should you should definitely see it. Yeah, if you have the chance to watch yeah. it, it's really different uh, from most horror movies, and it's not like you know jump scare horror. This is like I would call it body horror, like literally body horror. Food horror. <laughs> Food porn horror. Yeah, this is like, yeah, the ultimate. Not ultimate, I mean, usually in body horror you have like stuff growing out and, you know, nasty stuff like that. So this is like realistic body horror. And also a lot of jealousy involved. Human emotions. Yeah. And that's why I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I was thinking 7, but now after talking about it, I was like, oh, I think I'm giving it an 8. I think 8 out of 10, yeah. I I, I did enjoy this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the acting sometimes was a bit off, but well, I, most I like of the, the time, two girls, yeah, they, two roommates, yeah. I mean, they some, really sometimes good. it was just, like, too much, but, I mean, the model girl, I thought she was a little bit too much sometimes, but it, it, it yeah. No, I think, I think she... She was very bitchy, really and she, you know, she, she pulled she it off. She was supposed to be, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know, I enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Good. <laughs> Okay, moving on to our short film, Small yes. Talk. Small Talk by Nicole Solomon. We also have a special uh, sort of interview movie thing that we did with her, uh, or that she sent us. Yeah, so it's coming yes, up. It's coming soon. up this week. Um, very nice girl. Uh, just awesome woman. Yeah, she's <laughs> really cool. Uh, I love, loved mailing, you know, sending mails to her and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> This one is called Small Talk, which you might have said. I might have missed that. Yeah. But <laughs> this is this is a fun movie. It I, is. It's really fun. I, in some weird way, it's a really fun movie. Like, it's not supposed to be a comedy, I guess? or I think a little bit, but it's like... Maybe like it's dark. dark. Yeah, yeah, it's dark. It's about this girl who is a phone sex operator. Mm-hmm. And this is actually based on her past experiences. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, and there's this one she, guy. Yeah, calls, she gets a weird, yeah, phone weird call. phone call, and then like weird stuff starts happening. Yeah, we're talking weird stuff. Yeah, we can't say anything more because we'll spoil it since yeah. it's a short film. Yeah, yeah, uh, but <laughs> and it's really, <laughs> really. Really fun. Like, you don't see a lot of... I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen a movie about a sex, telephone sex operator. No, I was like, wow, this is a really interesting topic. It's a really fun idea. Yes. And, and that's yeah. that's the fun thing about bringing your own experiences to life. Because it's usually something that hasn't been done before or something that's been rarely done before. And it feels, like, more real. Because you can put a lot of... Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but... Since you've been through it, then you know more details. More you passion, know, you know, yeah. More situations that could happen, and yeah. Yeah. And this is, like, it's she's not like this, the girl who's the, the main the main character. She's not this, you know, sexy porn star girl. She's just a normal girl. Yeah, just walking around home. I mean, she's like, hot, but she's yeah. not, she's not like a, you know, sh- stripper or a... Yeah. yeah. What would you call it? A typical, stereotypical sex operator. You know, you think the blonde and the big tits and the lips and whatnot. You think Jenna Jameson's on the other line, basically. But this girl, she's very pretty. Um, I'm not sure what background she has, but uh, she's not white, which is fun to see. Because you don't really get a lot of non-white lead Mm -hmm. actresses. And she's very talented. Yeah. And she's beautiful, but like in a classic kind of way, not a objectified kind of way. And I I think she did this on purpose, I'm not sure. But it's I think I read something Maybe about it somewhere. Um but she was really good and uh, I really liked that she was like natural and just a regular girl yeah, trying just, to earn some extra yeah, money for her studies and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, and that really uh, that 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 makes it more real. Yeah, it does, and it makes it, it just does. better. I think, in my opinion, in this type of movie. Yeah, it was funny, you know, you had a few laughs. And yeah, it was one also... scene really <laughs> yeah. made me laugh, but it's a spoiler, so I won't say anything, but... <laughs> and then it has, you know, a few scares, like, you know, it's, and it has a really good yeah, gore some... effect. Yeah, it does, and some creepy atmosphere. Yeah. It, it, like, mixes all of this into one good, like, short film. Yeah. I think it's about, it was about half an hour long, I think, something like that. Well, no, was it shorter? Yeah, I think it was. I can't that. remember. I'm sorry, my memory yeah. is terrible. But it mixes all the elements really well. It does. Like it's it's short, but it's enough. Though I would love to see a, a full feature length of this movie. Yeah. Like because the the way they I mean they did it really good in the short movie, and I'm guessing that they could do it really well as a feature. Definitely. Feature. Yeah, I want to see more sex talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of the like then when she when you see her talking like with sex, uh, sex it was you're just like cracking up. It was yeah, so good, it was funny. And you know, I've, I haven't talked to many sex operators myself. I did, I did call once when I was like in sixth grade. Yeah, when you were like 12, 13. Yeah, and you're like, oh, that's calling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and you call, and you just as soon as they you know they pick up, you're just like eh eh, and you just hang up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I I haven't had the experience, but I've all you know I've thought like what what how could this job be you know what's it like, and seeing this you know you get a lot of creeps you get some nice yeah, people you, too I guess you get some but you get a lot of creeps, and you know people need to is fulfill their needs. It's better that they call a sex opera than they go do something weird. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed this movie, and I. Oof. Me too. I think a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. Yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 as yeah. well. And I look Very forward good. to seeing a lot more from Nicole Solomon. We also got to see Beneath the Black Moon, but we'll take that in another episode. Yeah. It was a short, fun one. Um, yeah, so definitely check out the interview that she did with us, uh, or the video that she did. It's uh, fantastic. It'll be up this week, hopefully. Yeah. On, like, Thursday or something. That. Yes. Feels like we've been babbling for a long time I think now. so, too. But yeah. we'll move on to the next <laughs> week's episode, which is animated horror. Woo! Uh, which you, you know, I've got some tips. I'm trying yeah, to find some too. rare ones, not only, like, Tim Burton bullshit, but... He's good, you know, but... We love Tim Burton, but we need something... We need something different. Odd. Yes. Yeah. So, check out next week's episode, special animated horror... Uh, like this video, share it if you can. And like us on Facebook. Yes. And thanks for watching. Bye. Stay horrific. <laughs>